You might be in a situation where your Wi-Fi has been denied access on your iPhone or Android or whatever you have, PC, it doesn't really matter. Now, this can happen for a few different reasons, but the very first thing that you just want to make sure of is that are you even able to access this internet in the first place? So if you're trying to access some sort of private network or if it's like a secure environment and that's a Wi-Fi you're trying to connect to, then clearly there's going to be some issue there. But if it's your home Wi-Fi or if it's a Starbucks or a McDonald's that you're at, well, what's going to happen here is that sometimes you may have just randomly connected to that network and it may have just timed out. So all you're going to want to do in that situation is to wait a second, turn off your Wi-Fi. So literally just go into your Wi-Fi settings, turn off your Wi-Fi, turn your Wi-Fi back on and try reconnecting to that Wi-Fi again. So what this basically looks like is you can go into your settings. You can even just turn on airplane mode for a second. Let it sit there for a few seconds, turn airplane mode back off, go back into your Wi-Fi settings and try reconnecting to that Wi-Fi. Chances are that connection honestly may just go away and then you may just be able to connect to that network and that's all you're going to have to do. Now, if that still doesn't work, another option you may have is to go ahead and just reboot your device. So if it's a network that you're used to, go ahead and try re just rebooting your device for the most part. So hold down the buttons if you're on a PC, just restart it, slide the power off, power your phone back on or whatever you have, slide unlock, and then go ahead and try going into your Wi-Fi settings once more and seeing if that ends up fixing the problem again. I would probably say for a lot of people, that's probably all you're going to have to do. And for a lot of people, that's kind of what fixed it for them. Now, another thing that may end up causing some problems is the Wi-Fi router itself. So if you're in a public Wi-Fi, like you probably can't just restart the router. You can just try connecting to another Wi-Fi connection. However, if you're at your house and you're getting this type of error, and if you have the access to actually change and reboot that router, go to that router and try rebooting it. Sometimes it's as easy as that, and that might end up fixing the problem for you too. So and those are pretty much the main ways to go ahead and do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.